What's up guys, Dapper J, I'm back, and this is The Long Dark. It's a game developed, or still in development, as you can see in the top left corner. It's Sandbox Alpha version 0.199. Uh, we've got, at the bottom left-hand corner, it says Hinterland Studio Incorporated. So, it's uh, the company that's still developing this game. Uh, if we click on Story here, we'll see that... We can't play it, but we're supposed to be able to play as the play the story of Bush pilot Will McKenzie as he struggles to survive. He crashed in the wilderness in the aftermath of a mysterious geomagnetic disaster. It looks like there's going to be multiple seasons, possibly multiple episodes. All right, can't load. It's not an option. If we look at the options here, you can see what I'm playing in. Uh, 1920 by 1080, ultra, full screen, metric, uh, my units are metric, sorry, clock type is 24 hours, so I know when it's evening, not that I won't be able to tell, but if I spawn in and it's five something and it looks almost daylight or almost nighttime, I won't be able to tell unless I have a 24 hour clock, which I'm going to have. English, I have my field of view slider all the way up, audio, everything's set to 50, controls, 8% on mouse sensitivity because my mouse is pretty sensitive. Key bindings are there if you wish to see what I'm going to use as my key bindings. And that noise in the background would be a wolf. Fantastic. Okay, so um, the long dark here, as described by Hinterland Studio, is a thoughtful exploration-focused survival simulation set in the northern wilderness in the aftermath of a global disaster. We are supposed to brave the elements and other survivors, hunt for supplies, explore the world, uncover the mystery, and answer the question, how far will you go to survive? Awesome. Alright, so let's get this started. Sandbox. We have three difficulty choices. And all tuning values are alpha, and many will likely change over time, as it says there at the bottom in yellow. We have Pilgrim. Voyager and Stalker. Pilgrim is obviously the easy mode, I guess you could say, for players who are more interested in pensive exploration than harrowing survival, and the wildlife will not attack you. Fantastic if I just wanted to explore this game. Stalker, for players who are looking for a punishingly challenging survival experience, gameplay is tuned to be more realistic, wherever this makes the experience more challenging. I don't know if that should be however or wherever i'm not a vocabulary master either way uh i'm not interested in hard mode we're going to stick with voyager which looks to be the normal mode it's for players who are looking for a reasonably challenging exploration survival experience but not a punishing one confirm choose your survivor i'm going to assume that this is will mckenzie unless we have a female lead named will i don't mind um but I think Will McKenzie is supposed to be voiced by David Hayter, the guy who voiced uh, Solid Snake. And, well, I guess you call him the boss too. But, yeah, I don't want to get into Metal Gear Solid. Um, but not for Ground Zeroes. Anyway, uh, it's supposed to be him, I think. I think we're going to play as the female, though. I don't really often play as female characters. And I can't tell if that was a wolf or a moose or... <laughs> whatever so we're gonna play as a female character and it looks like i'm gonna have to unlock coastal highway and pleasant valley by finding these areas so let's start with mystery lake start a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern canadian wilderness how long can you survive i hope long enough to load the game again <laughs> All right. Extinction is the rule. Survival is the exception. Carl Sagan. Awesome. So where are we? We are in the woods. Uh, I'm going to hit tab here. This is my menu. Equipment, forge wood, log, bedroll, start fire, first aid. Feels like negative 13 degrees. I've survived for four minutes. Hunger. Thirst, cold, and fatigue are slowly going up. I have 1988 calories. Okay. Uh, equipment. We've got... What are these? Cotton long underwear. We've got some jeans. 
some basic boots, some basic gloves, a toque. I, I'm going to assume that's how you pronounce it. I'm not Canadian, French Canadian. I don't even know if that's a French Canadian word. <clears throat> that's a bandage, antiseptic, antibiotics, accelerant. We have a bedroll that we can sleep in. It looks like these things also have um, conditions that might need repairing at some point. That's okay, and it looks like I've got an equipment weight of 30 kilograms. That's the max I can go. Okay, back, back. Oh, look, little rabbits. Little rabbits. Come here, little rabbits. Wait. Don't run. No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, he doesn't want to play, and I don't think the other one does either. Well, at least the wildlife react to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm getting warmer. I'm I'm gonna assume that's because I'm running. Um, lots of little rabbits everywhere. Let's go this way. Yeah, let's let's go this way. So this series has been in the works. I've wanted to start it. Oh boy, a while ago, uh, but lots of things complicated that. Um, I started grad school. And I'm really enjoying what I'm doing, uh, what I'm learning. So there's that. Sounds like I'm freezing. My character's making noises. Um, and recently, my uh, my truck, it, um, it its engine failed. It uh, dropped a valve. And uh, because of that, I could I had two choices. So I could have tried to well three choices. I picked the third choice. I could have repaired or tried to repair the motor with no guarantee that the repairs that I'd make would end up lasting and leading to, uh, can't go that way, okay, leading to a fully functioning vehicle, not to mention that who knows if uh, my trans trans transmission, excuse me, would last after repairing the motor, uh, among other things. I know I had a radiator problem and an axle seal problem on that truck. Let's go this way. What do we got? Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, not what I wanted. Shift. Shift. Run. I saw this and I thought that was like a person standing there, but old man's beard lichen. I'm guessing that's a plant of some kind. I'm not a an expert on plants either. <gasps> what is that? I don't know what that is, but I want to know what that is. That looks like a bridge. That's a bridge. We found a bridge. Our first thing that we find in the game is a bridge. Excellent. Wait, what's underneath the bridge? There's something over there. Let's go check it out. Let's not check it out. I don't know. Is it moving? I can't see that far. It looks like a wolf eating something. My guess is it's a wolf eating something. Okay. Let's um not go that way. Let's go over the bridge. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, let's go over the bridge. We're just going to stick to the trees here. Okay, so I'll tell my story. I was on my way to class. Uh, my grad school class, and the truck, I got to a stop sign in my development, and the truck started to shake, like, uh, I've got a big engine, um, driving an old Mustang kind of Hemi style shake, looks like there's another wolf over there, right there, and, uh, you know, it, it's the kind of, you, you just kind of want to step on the gas and I heard a weird noise. I know my condition's going down, and that's because I'm freezing. If I hit tab. Yeah, I'm really cold. Oh, God. Okay. Let's get out of there. Let's try and warm up. We gotta find... Oh, that's a building. I know there's a wolf over this way. Okay, lady. We'll be okay. Looks like there's a little tent. Maybe that wasn't a wolf. Maybe there's a tent. Okay, so we found a tent. Cool. 
I'm not gonna go in that little hut though. We found the dam. Oh, look. Oh, is that a deer? Deer carcass. I can't harvest meat because it requires tools. Okay. Well, let's go find some tools. Let's get in this building. Man, look at this art style. This is why I picked this game. It is just... It's simple and beautiful. I love it. Nothing around the outside. Okay. Anyway, anyway, let's go inside. So, I step on the gas, and promptly my truck starts to just die. It does not like me stepping on the gas, the jerry can. Never know. Could end up being useful. Nice. It's in really good condition, too. We'll take that. I'm going to need that for... Uh, Lighting fires. It's really dark in here, and I can't really see anything. So, the, um, I promptly shut the truck off. I took it, and I had it towed to a mechanic. What's this? Clipboard? Nothing. First aid kit. Nice. Hmm. Take that. Okay. And, yeah, all right, more. Very cool. Okay, we got some stuff out of the first aid kit. We've got some dam controls that I know nothing about. <laughs> okay. That was, that was funny. Alright, let's search the drawers. Uh, mechanic told me that the truck dropped a valve in the number six uh, piston cylinder. It, it dropped a valve. Anyway. What's important? Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I'm gonna die. I died. I've, I've never... Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. That's hysterical. What, how did, how was there a wolf in there? And what did he hear? He wasn't listening to my story, I guess. <laughs> Oh god, that was terrifying. Alright, let's do it again. An hour and 33 minutes, that's embarrassing. What's our quote? Do we get a new quote? We do get a new quote. Extraordinary people survive under the most terrible circumstances and they become more extraordinary because of it. Robertson Davis. Alright, so this time... We did not spawn in the same location. But it looks like there's only one path forward. So we're gonna go that way. And it looks like there's a little hunting shack. Yeah. Looks like a deer carcass there. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Look, Bambi. Big Bambi. I wonder if he attacks. Yeah, it requires tools. I don't have any tools. I'm going to assume I start with the same equipment. Oh, can I harvest these? What is this? Rose hips. Yeah, let's take some rose hips. I don't know what rose hips do, but sure, we'll take them. Bambi's walking towards me. I'm gonna go say hi. What the hell was that? Okay, Bambi runs away. Or Bambi heard something. Who knows? Okay, let's pick up the rest of these rose hips. Okay, cool. Anything in here? Oh, we got a pry bar. Opening lock containers. Okay. Let's crouch. What's this? Broken. Hey, we got a single rifle round. If only we had a rifle. Can you look at that? So look at the wrapper. I mean, that's. Oh, crap. Anyway, we'll, we'll look at the antiseptic. Man, that's so cool. Like, just. It's so simple. It's just beautiful to me. I enjoy it. Alright, nothing there. What's in here? Hmm. Cold pork and beans. Okay. Anything else? No? Doesn't look like it? Okay. Rabbits? I hear wolves. Let's, um... So is this more of that beard stuff? What is this? Old man's beard lichen. Okay, yeah, we got that. So I, uh, let's go this way. 
We might as well. I mean, what do we got to lose? I only survived an hour and 33 minutes. I suck. I suck at this game. <laughs> it's already apparent. But like I said in my Dark Souls 2 wrap-up video, I, I've never done games like this before, so this is completely new to me. And that's why I wanted to do it, because it would be interesting. At least for me, because I'm not used to something like this. Alright. Well, I don't know. Am I going to be able to get around? Okay, I can't get back down. we got to find shelter. I've got about three and a half minutes to find shelter. Or if Vora die again. One or the other. But i got to end the episode at about like 20-something minutes. Yeah. Okay, so back to my story. Mechanic tells me he can repair it, he can try to repair it, but there's no guarantee that no. No, 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 no. I saw a wolf. I saw a wolf. I'm done. Is he following me? He's not following me. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna we're gonna go this way. Yeah, this way. Okay. So as I try and Hide from said wolf. Um, no, 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 no! I ran, I ran in a circle. Oh my god, I ran in a circle. I'm, I'm gonna kill it. Come on, what you got? What you got? I got him! I got him! I got him! Get back here! Where are you going? No, I'm not done with you. At risk. At risk, infected wound. Okay, sprinting off into the... Okay, tab, uh, first aid. Um, items needed. Bandage. What? Okay, easy, lady. I'm doing the best I can. Nope. Equipment. I don't know if that's what I needed. Am I healed? Yeah, okay. My condition is 16% though. Oh shit. Excuse me. We need to not die. How's that sound? That's a deer. I'm okay with a deer. South access river. Okay. There's a little hut out there. Is there anything around here? Lots of little huts. Lots of huts over that way. Let's, let's go around this way real quick. Another little hut. Or oh, that was the same little hut. Oh, big hut. That's a big cabin. Okay, let's make it to that one. Alright, so continuing with my story. My terrible, terrible story. Um, I get distracted and also I beat a wolf with a crowbar. It looks like. Oh, we are in Canada. Look, the Canadian flag. Very nice. So, um... If he tries to repair it, there's no guarantee, like, the transmission won't go, or the radiator doesn't have a problem, which I knew it did, and I knew I had an axle leak. Mystery Lake, yay! We found something. Pretty music play. Awesome. So, there was no guarantee that, uh, camp office... <laughs> oh, so we're at a... There's a wolf up there. We're going inside before the wolf can get us. Awesome. Can we make a fire? I don't have any fuel. Uh, uh, okay. Bandage. Take. Crouch. What is this? Take that. Tomato soup. Take that. Okay, so I move really slow when I'm crouched. What is this? Magnifying lens. This. Start a fire during daylight. Cool. That's creative. I like that. Summit soda. Tick. Nothing. We can stop crouching now. 
Look at the little particle effects. Those are cool too. It's like dust. Dust. Newsprint. Probably useful. Okay. Reclaimed wood. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Take that. Newsprint roll. Okay. There's a workbench. Bearskin bedroll. Oh, <gasps> cool. So look at all these things. That I've got no tool, but I can make all these wound dressing, bandage, lichen, snare, torches, wolfskin coat. I don't have any wolf pelts. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's go upstairs here and see what's up here. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Whoa. What was that? Is that a bark? Can they can wolves use doors? Corpse. Empty. Empty corpse. What use are you, corpse? You are useless corpse. Newsprint. Take. Book. Must be prepared for anything. Eventually a source of knowledge. For now, something to burn when you're freezing. Water bottle take. Yeah, all right, I got matches. Awesome. Anything else? There's a wood stove here. I can, like, cook some food. Let's look through the drawers. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, cool, a bedroll. So now I got another bedroll. What's this? Nothing. Bed, bed. I got beds. Uh, ooh, boxes. Anything? No, nothing in boxes. Uh, nothing under the table. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to light a fire. And I have accelerant. Fire duration is 30 minutes. Uh. Eh, whatever. Let's try. No! No! Okay, so as this is going, um, so the the next option, instead of trying to repair it, because uh, if he repairs it, if he were to have repaired it, and something was bent, and, you know, uh, it, it didn't work out the way we wanted it to, um, well, it, it could have been bad. I, I could have been out over $1,000. Yeah, I got a fire. Okay, let's get uh, let's get close to that. So, I could have been out, uh, you know, a thousand something dollars from a broken uh, part that didn't eventually get fixed, you know. And then uh, the other option was to drop a new motor, and, and the motor itself would cost more than the truck was worth. So, nope, not going to do that. So, I had to go, had to, I say had to. Um, I went out and bought a, a new vehicle, and that was my choice because I didn't want to... Um, get myself into a situation where if I bought a used vehicle, uh, who knows what kind of problems I would run into later down the road. I take really good care of, I took really good care of my truck, um, and I don't know why or how the valve dropped in it, and it was really depressing when it happened. Um, so, yeah, I bought a new car, but more about that in the next episode. For now, we're going to call it here. Um, I'm going to stand next to my dying fire, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.